Generations of Monkford have eaten meals of vegetables, beans and bread, washed down with beer. Absolutely beautiful bank holiday Monday morning. I'm out in deepest Surrey, searching out some of the oddities, some of the history, the heritage, little hidden gems that you might not be aware of. This is quite a famous place I brought you to today. A little favourite of mine. It's the monastic ruins of Waverley Abbey. <laughs> Waverley Abbey House. So the stone from the old ruin priory was built was used to build that actually back in the 1700s. This is the first Cistercian Abbey in England, built in the 1100s by William Guildford, who was the Bishop of Winchester. Survive right up until, of course, the dissolution of the monasteries in 1536. It's an amazing ruin. So that's the Undercroft. Where that always still make me laugh, the Undercroft. There's not that much left remaining, but it's a magnificent ruin. Just right on the river way. Richard Langton was sent by the court to do an evaluation of Waverley Abbey. His assets, the state of it, um, his wealth, and he came back with quite a scathing report. And I quote, The Abbot of Waverley, among his monks, I found corruption of the worst sort. Oh! This is owned by English Heritage. It's open access, I'm an English Heritage member, um, but this is open access, so not closed off during this uh, weird time. Let's go and have a look at the uh, monk's dormitory. Quite a few films have been shot here. Uh, Elizabeth, Hot Fuzz, The Huntsman, Harry Potter, I think a little bit of Harry Potter. Never seen any Harry Potters, I'm afraid, but um, yeah. It's a backdrop, when I was here, oh God, 12 years ago, I remember there was a photo shoot going on. I don't think they had permission from English Heritage, but the lady was topless and with kids were running about. I thought it was bizarre. The monk refectory. This is the end south wall of the monk refectory, the room where they ate. A large rectangle of shade is picked out in the mown grass behind you. Sitting along the side walls, early generations of monks would have eaten meals of vegetables, beans and bread, washed down with beer. This is the monk's dormitory, where they would have slept. smiling when they see the camera. I think people know what vlogging is now. Okay. 
something. Nikki doesn't sound like an old, old, old name. Lovely, look at that lovely brickwork. There is a tale of a boy who fell off the upper rampants of the abbey, off a, a large wall, or I don't know how he got up there, he might have been just climbing years and years, hundreds of years ago, and apparently survived. And it's not folklore, I think it's actually written down in one of the old uh, abbey records. I mean, that's a fair old height. Another thing that Waverley has over the abbey is this fantastically beautiful yew tree. Look at the roots, all exposed. Some almost petrified. Up here. Incredible. This is interesting. I pointed this out in a previous video where an old part of the abbey, of the abbey wall, and the tree have sort of come together. Probably the tree growing around the around the brickwork. I wonder how old this is. Eight hundred years old, maybe more. There's a fantastic old uh, yew tree down in Crowhurst in Surrey, one of the oldest in the country. They're probably 4,000 years old, which I must go down and have a look at sometime. Ah, OK, we're standing at the east end of the Abbey Church, close to the site of the High Altar, looking towards the nave in the distance. Waverley was dedicated to St Mary the Virgin. Cloister. I love the word cloister. Just so medieval. Okay, we are in the south transept. You are standing in one of the two great cross arms of this 13th century abbey. It was one of the last parts of the building to be completed. In this wall remains of three tall lancet windows. Which must be up there, yep. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this was such an important abbey for so many years. Just think in a few short years Henry VIII came along and his cronies destroyed not only a lot of people's faith, but also our future heritage. <laughs> well, there you have it, Waverley Abbey. Just a little quick trip down here. Wanted to show it to you. So if you ever were near Farnham, pop in and see it. It's open access, as I said earlier. An amazing place, especially a great place to meditate, not on a day like this when there's so many families around. Um, yeah, it's great. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you've been here. Have you got any more in extra information you can tell us? That'd be great. And on this gloriously hot bank holiday Monday, We'll see you next time. Take care.